Alright troops, let's get ready to march, and march, and march, all the way up to Concord forward slash Lexington, and then we'll go and seize all of those rebels' armaments. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, this is Paul McCartney, uh, I mean, Paul Revere speaking. Wait, you know what? This is 1775. We shouldn't have telephones. That's more like it. Who is it? Is this residence of Paul Revere? Yeah, what is it? What have you got? The British are going to attack. They're going to attack us very soon, very soon. Right now, in fact, tomorrow. Wh what? What are you talking about? The British are going to attack? Yeah, I must alert everyone at once. I think you ought to. I think you ought to. The British are coming. The British are coming. Tally ho, everyone! Avast ye! Come on! We've got to go and prepare! The British are coming! They're coming! Ah, oh, they're coming! Ah, oh, they're going to get us if we don't prepare right now! Oh. The next day. Alright, gentlemen. You may be wondering what we were supposed to do. Now, when you see them, what you must do is wait until you see the whites of their eyes. Wait, no. That's a different battle. What you must do is not f uh, do not fire unless fired upon um, and uh, if if they mean to have a war let it begin here all right my minute men let us do this arms at the ready everyone all right good sir loaded and ready to fire how do I turn off the safety on this thing <laughs> ah I've just been shot. It's just like December 8th, 1980 all over again. I do believe this will one day be called the shot heard around the world, as I think that this will be an incipient point in the American Revolutionary War, and be a landmark that uh, kick-started the entire event that separated America from the British Empire. But what do I know? I'm either going to bleed out right now or die of lead poisoning in a month. As the king, I demand that this stops, or else we'll start a war that'll last a few years, or something like that. I don't know.